Hello guys, how are you? I hope you're feeling well and I hope you always stay at your home. So, in this third video, I want to tell you about one of my favorite things to do during this self-quarantine. But before that, I want to tell you a little information why we have to stay at our home. As you guys know, the world now is facing a global pandemic called COVID-19. So people around the world have to stay at home to minimize the spread of this virus. So, all of learning process at school must done online at home, and we call that study from home. I'm gonna tell you about one of my favorite thing to do during this soft quarantine. Yeah, that is watching a movie. The reason why I love watching a movie that is because I think watching a movie is not just a thing. Watching a movie is become a part of my lifestyle. I really like watching a movie that is because whenever I watch a movie, I feel like I am entering a whole new world that I have never visited before. Besides that, every time I watch a movie, I can see some people that has different characters, and I can implement it into the real world when I have to face someone that has different characters. Some movies teach me that there is no happy endings, but some movies also can teach me that my life can be like a fairy tale too. Watching movies can also teach me to study English because most of the films that I have already watched is using English. From those movies, I can learn how English people talk, their ethics, and the way they live. And the simplest things why I love watching a movie, that is because a movie is an entertainment. Every time I get stressed from school or tired from school, I can watch a one movie and it can make my mood in a better situation. The genre movies, the movies genre. The genre of movies that I like is romantic, comedy, horror, and science fiction. I have been watching a lot of movies, like all Disney movies, for example, like Coco, Frozen, Aladdin, and Tangled. I love watching The Conjuring Universe too, like The Nun, The Conjuring Part 1 and 2, and Annabelle. I also love to watch romance movies and Netflix series, like 13 Reasons Why and The Fifty Shades series. Those are my favorite movies. But still, my favorite movie for years is Harry Potter. So basically, Harry Potter was a novel. The, the author of this novel is J.K. Rowling. From the success of the novel, the novel turns into seven movies. So, the writer of this novel is John Rowling. John Rowling was born on 31st of July 1965 in England. Joe had an idea of making Harry Potter when she sitting on a delayed train from Manchester to London King Cross. The book was first published by the Bloomsbury Children's Book in 1997 under the name of J.K. Rowling. So the K in the middle of J and Rowling, it stands for her grandmother's name, Kathleen. The first movie adaptation was released by the Warner Bros. and it followed by another seven movie adaptation, including the Harry Potter and the Deadly Hollows Part 1 and Part 2. So now, there are 8 movies of Harry Potter. Harry Potter in the Philosopher's Stone, Harry Potter in the Chamber of Secret, Harry Potter in the Prisoner of Azkaban, Harry Potter in the Goblet of Fire, Harry Potter in the Order of Phoenix, Harry Potter in the Half-Blood Prince, Harry Potter Deadly and the Deathly Hollows Part 1, and Harry Potter and the Deathly Hollows Part 2. So now, I'm gonna tell you the synopsis of Harry Potter's movies. So the story opened with uncontrolled celebration in the wizarding world after years of terror by Lord Voldemort. The night before, Lord Voldemort had discovered a secret shelter of Potter's family and killed James and Lily Potter. However, when Voldemort pointed his one at their baby, Harry Potter, the killing curse turns back into himself. 
the Voldemort spirits blown up and then disappeared from the magical world, but he, he did not die. Meanwhile, the only result of his failed curse left on the Harry's forehead. It is a mark, lightning shaped mark. From that day, Harry Potter called as the boy who lived. The name given to Harry because there is no wizard that can defeat Voldemort in the wizarding world. The following night, a wizard took Harry Potter to the house of his aunt and uncle, the Dursleys. Harry stays there for many years until he turns into 11. The Dursleys never tell anything about magic to Harry. They always try to hide the background of Harry's life and they're gonna give him punishment if something strange happens. On his 11th birthday, Harry Potter finally got a contact from the wizarding world when he received a letter, which was his aunt and uncle tried to hide for so long. So Harry couldn't read the letter. He can finally read the letter when a giant named Hagrid, the ground and key keepers at school of witchcraft and wizardry named Hogwarts, came to take Harry to the school. On that night, Hagrid tell Harry that he is a wizard and he is accepted at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Each movie tells one year of Harry's life, where the most of his life spent at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry, where he learned the use of magic and learned to make potions. Harry also learned how to overcome magic, social, and control his emotional during his teenage years. In the same time, Voldemort also tried to return to his physical body and restore all of his power, while the Ministry of Magic refused the fact that Voldemort is back. The rejection of the Ministry of Magic later caused many difficulties to Harry Potter. In the end of the eighth movie, Harry Potter finally can defeat the Lord Voldemort and destroy all Lord Voldemort's Horcruxes. So, a Horcrux is an object that, that is formed by a dark magic and it used with a witch or wizard in Harry Potter series. Horcrux, horcruxes are created to achieve immortality by splitting the souls of wizard into separate pieces. Voldemort already made six horcruxes before he came to kill Lily and James Potter. The horcruxes are the first horcrux is the Tom Riddle's diary. We can see it in the second movie, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, and Harry Potter destroyed this Horcrux. The second Horcrux is Marvolo Gaunt's ring, so it's Voldemort's mother's ring. We can see this Horcrux in the sixth movie, Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, and Dumbledore destroyed this Horcrux. The third Horcrux is the Salazar's Retrain's locket. We can see it in the eighth movie, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2, and Ron Weasley destroyed this Horcrux. The fourth Horcrux is the Helga Evel Puff We can see it in the eighth movie, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2, and this Horcrux is destroyed by Hermione Granger. The fifth one is the Rowena Ravenclaw's Diadem. We can see it in the eighth movie, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2. This Horcrux is destroyed by Harry himself. The sixth Horcrux is the Nagini the Snakes, so the snakes is belong to Voldemort. We can see it in the eighth movie, Harry Potter and the Deadly Hollows Part 2. The snake is killed by uh, Neville Longbottom. When Voldemort came to kill Lily and James Potter, then when he tried to kill Harry, but the spell is bound and hit himself. Voldemort didn't realize that he has made one more Horcrux, yaps, Harry himself. So, the Horcrux inside of Harry Potter is destroyed by Voldemort himself in the 8th movie Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2. Long story short, Harry Potter is married his own best friend sister, Ginny Weasley, and from that marriage, Harry has three children two sons and one daughter. The first, the first child is a boy named James Sirius Potter. The second child is a boy named Aldous Severus Potter. And the third child is a daughter 
named Lily Luna Potter. The story of Harry's children is made into an opera named The Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. Now we we'll continue to the reasons why I love Harry Potter. The reasons why I love Harry Potter is quite difficult to explain because when I watch Harry Potter, I feel like I am a whole new different person. I feel like whenever I watch Harry Potter, I can see the other side of wizard. To be honest, before I watch Harry Potter, I always thought that witch is an evil person who like to eat children, wear cloak, have a long nose with pimples and old person but but when i watch harry potter i realized that not all witches in the wizarding world are evil and i can implement it to the real world that not everyone in this world are evil although although the harry potter story is very difficult to be accepted with the common sense like there are a car that can fly brooms that can fly animals can turn into human human can turn into animal and there are very very lots of things that are very very difficult to be accepted with the common sense but this movie is very very interesting because this movie has a lot of lessons that i can learn from it such as the friendship between harry ron and hermione granger the second one is the second one is the mother's one in the film we can see that harry is saved by more than one smart wolf. The first one, he was saved by his own mother's love, Lily Potter. And the second one, he was saved by Molly Weasley. And the third one, he also saved by Narcissia Smallfoy. Harry also saved by someone that he thinks is an evil. Yep, that is Severus name. My favorite character from the Harry Potter movie is Severus Snape. Now, I'm gonna tell you my favorite character in the Harry Potter movies. I think Severus Snape is a very interesting character and I love him with my own personal reasons. I love the mystery of his personality. I have lots of reasons why I love Severus Snape, but now I'm going to tell you three reasons why I love Severus Snape. The first reason why I love Severus Snape is his childhood memory. In the Harry Potter movie, we can see that Severus Snape was bullied by the Mothers or Harry's father's gang and the story of the Severus Snape's childhood made me remember those four girls who bullied me when I was in the middle school. The second reason why I love Severus Snape because I think he is a very sweet and gentle man. Even though he is a fiction character, but I think Severus Snape is the most sweet person and loving person that I ever know. Severus Snape really loved Lily. He always tried to make sure that Lily doesn't die for nothing after she died. He always tried to help or to save Harry and Dumbledore as much as he can despite of hating Harry because we can say that Harry is the reason why his mother died. The third reason why I love Severus Snape because in the movies, we can see that Severus Snape is a very brave guy and has some guts that we can see. He is spies on Voldemort for Dumbledore. He is, he is risking his own life for Dumbledore despite the fact that maybe he can get caught for doing so. He is also very brave when he saved Harry's life in the Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone when Harry's broom got spelled by the Professor Quirrell and I think it is showed that even though Snape hates Harry, he will still save him. And the last one, Snape dies by getting killed by Nagini. Despite refusing, he is the true owner of the Elder One. And to me, this is the very brave and this is the most reason why I love Severus Snape that much. you the reasons why you should watch Harry Potter. If you feel, if you feel bored at home and don't have, have, if you feel bored at home and don't have any classes or tasks, you can try to watch Harry Potter. As 
As we told before, Harry Potter is one of the science fiction that discuss magic. So, in this movie, we can see the other side of magic and we can see the other side of wizard or witch. A witch is not always an evil person who like to eat children. There are also many many uh, good wizard in the wizarding world, not in the real world. The second reason why I love Harry Potter is those fantastic locations. Those fantastic locations are the Dark Alleys, the King's Cross Station, the Hogwarts Express, the um, Hogwarts Castle, the Dark Creatures, and also the Dark Houses. And the third reason why you should watch Harry Potter is the romance in this movie. As you guys know, there are a lot of sweet couples in this movie. Like Lily and James Potter, Harry and Ginny Potter, Ron and Hermione, and of course the most romantic person in this movie is Severus Snape. I'm going to tell you the differences between Harry Potter novels and Harry Potter movie. Although this movie is very cool, there are some striking differences between Harry Potter novels and Harry Potter movies. The first, like, there are some characters that doesn't show up in the movies. And the second one is the color of the movie's player skin. It doesn't match with the novel. And the third one, there are a lot of properties that are different from the movie and the novels. But there are also many, many differences between Harry Potter novels and Harry Potter films. The last one, I want to tell you some tips if you want to feel comfortable when you are watching a movie at home. The first one, find movie genre that you really like. Maybe romance, horror, science fiction, or comedy. The second one, find a good place to watch a movie. Maybe in your room, because this is a very, very good spot. The third one, turn off your room's lamp if you want to be more comfortable. And the last one, and the most important thing, is prepare some snack that you can eat if you are hungry while watching a movie.